What happened last year when I died three times? I was on the inner planes for three weeks. I was in a coma. And I was, I went to this one place three times. It was a, a meeting hall or whatever in the etheric. And the third time I was going, I, was, I realized I was late. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'm going to just sneak in the back. You know, <laughs> I'll just sneak in the back and, you know, find a chair quietly and no one will know I'm late. Well, it didn't, that didn't work. I opened the door or whatever it was. I walked into this force field and every eye turned and looked at me. And there was only one seat and it was down on the dais <laughs> with these guys. <laughs> and I thought, oh my, there was only one seat. And I, I was either going to leave, sit on the floor or go down there. So I, I realized that I had to go down there. But basically what I'm saying is that I was celebrating my ascension. They were celebrating my ascension. And this was the second time I had refused it. It ended up being my refusal. So I want to talk about the ascension a little bit here just, just because there are three aspects to the ascension. The first, balancing 51% of your karma in the physical plane. The second, completing your dharma or your contract for being here at all. And the third is accepting the ascension. I never thought that was so hard, but it is. We don't want to leave, for one. And I, I know recently I've thought about this. I know St. Germain must have refused his ascension a thousand times. What year did he ascend again? Uh, I think it was 1684, but it may have been 1683. See, he... He feigned death, as Francis Bacon, after the 1623 folio came out. He was impugned by uh, his enemies for taking a bribe, which he did not do. But he wouldn't defend himself, a little like El Moria. El Moria wouldn't defend himself as Thomas More, and Henry had his head cut off, Henry VIII. Um, so St. Germain went on the continent and he began to do his work secretly. He went to the house of Rokosi in, in uh, Hungary and uh, basically hid out from public knowledge. So nobody knew he was still around but his own closest people. And he stuck around till his ascension in, in um, 1683 or 4. So anyway, what it amounted to was I said, well... I'm, I'm going back. I asked Kathumi, I said, well, if I'm going back, what am I going to do? Of course, I didn't hear right away. <laughs> I came back, and I went from, this was in August of 07. I went clear into the fall, and finally I got the message from Kathumi about the IMU, which is, International Ascended Master University. And that's why we started. He said, you're supposed to start this, this IMU. And I had been trying to start a school up in, in Washington State and had no real fortune with it. There were a lot of um, things going on that, that didn't seem to work. But ultimately what happened was I immediately got on the internet to find out, IMU, is IMU.com available? No. Does, what is it? It doesn't have anything to do with what we're talking about. But IMU.tv was available. So I signed that up immediately, and then we started working with that thought form of the IMU. And uh, we've been working with it about a year now. And it was, it was uh, El Moria that told me that I was supposed to start a school even up in the, in the north. And when I came down here, I said, well, ostensibly this school could be a virtual school. The teaching needs to be spoken. It needs to be brought out. And that was my assignment to uh, make, make myself available to whomever that was interested in this teaching and was interested in, in the idea of the Ascended Masters to share what I know as a teacher.